Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePooler.com. In this video, we are gonna use some color burst backgrounds along with some resist techniques. So here I am just sprinkling on some powder. This was a wet piece of watercolor cardstock. So if you've been watching my color burst, burst videos, you've seen me either sprinkle it on dry cardstock and spray water on top, or spray the cardstock first and then sprinkle the water or the color burst on top. Either way, um, they're super fun to play with and they create really awesome backgrounds. So I'm using a lot of the suede shoes. You're gonna notice I'm, I'm particularly smitten with this one because it has a little flecks of purple in there and it's absolutely stunning. That blue is just so deep and gorgeous and I have a little yellow on there and uh, it just created a really fun background that I thought would be fun to use with the resist technique. So I'm using the Climbing Flowers background stamp and I'm inking it with my Wow Embossing Ink and I'm stamping a couple times because I wanna make sure that my embossing ink is really heavy and really sticky and full coverage and because this is watercolor cardstock and watercolor cardstock actually, let me tell you, the Ken Oliver watercolor cardstock, one side is smooth and the other side is pretty bumpy. So it's cool because you have the choice on which side you want to use. I don't know which side I used for this one, but regardless, I just wanted to make sure I got really good coverage there. So now I'm slipping in another piece. So I have two background pieces that I'm using clear embossing powder with. So same background stamp, climbing flowers, clear embossing powder over my color burst background. So, so far, the technique is the same, but we're gonna get very different looks here. So I'm using my heat tool and I'm heating that embossing powder, white or clear embossing powder. This is not white, it's clear. So clear embossing powder can be a little tough to see it change. So just be sure you're watching it in the light and when it turns shiny, you know it's done. So now I'm just putting it on a little uh, bed of paper towels and I'm adding a ton of water. So what I'm doing here is reactivating the watercolor. So this is, this is water-based, so when I add water, it's gonna activate. And basically I'm removing the color. So I'm gonna go back and forth, adding water, letting it sit for a second, and basically just then toweling it off and removing the color. You can see my piece of cardstock is sticking to the paper towels. That's because I use a little bit of adhesive to um, make it stay in place on my Misty. So that's fine. <laughs> so with the next background piece, we're gonna basically do the opposite. Instead of removing color, we're gonna add. And this has a fancy name, it's called Joseph's Coat. First off, I'm trying it out with my ink blending brush and my Juniper Mist ink pad and that was going okay but I thought it would be quicker to just swipe my ink pad across the cardstock and then I decided let me just dab it. So dabbing worked really really well and it got that white cardstock that was not embossed really dark really quickly and then so now it looks like a little bit of a hot mess right? Well grab a paper towel. I like to add just a little bit of water to it to get a little damp and you're going to basically buff that excess ink off of the embossed image and look at that color just peeking through on the embossed oh my gosh it's gorgeous are you guys excited like I am I love this technique and I knew this stamp was going to look absolutely stunning with it so I decided to do it again. So I grabbed another background I had previously done. This is all with Samba and Limoncello. And I grabbed my Midnight Ink Pad and I just got busy ink swiping. <laughs> and then I'm just going to buff it out and, and remove that excess Midnight Ink and I'm done. So a simple sentiment is really all you need to polish off gorgeous background pieces like this. So you can see how a simple sentiment just really finishes off the card and does not detract from the gorgeous technique piece that you just created. Thank you so much for visiting me and watching my video. Leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to hear from you. Hope your day is awesome and you get time to get creative.